Do you find that one day just seems to merge into the next? Do you find that no matter what you do, you never ever seem to have enough time to get done all the things that you want to get done? Have you developed potentially a procrastination mindset? Do you want to know how much it's costing you uh, when you procrastinate and you put off those tasks that you need to do? Stay tuned because I'm going to share that with you and so much more on today's episode of Going Deeper. So welcome to the show. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey folks and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I'm your host John Morris and welcome to the show that's designed to get you from where you are to where you want to be with step-by-step -step guidance and always reminding you that I never teach on anything that I haven't first-hand experienced in myself. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, tell a friend because it could be the very thing that they need to hear in their time of struggle. And So now that we've got that out of the way, we now want to talk about procrastination. It's one of the most common topics that I talk about with clients all the time. Doesn't matter the age the gender, the sex, you know, whatever it might be. It literally is up there in the top five categories with something that people struggle with all the time. And it's amazing how few people actually know what procrastination really is. So what is it? Let's put a definition on it then. My definition of procrastination is where we trade productivity for comfort. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, productivity is where we're getting things done, where we're ticking the boxes, where we're getting steps closer to our goal. We're taking those steps closer to our goal. Comfort is where we're, we know what we need to do, but we're sitting there watching TV or, or having a big meal or socializing with friends or going out and you know spending a ton of time on social media or whatever it might be, but we're not doing what we know we need to do in order to get us from where we are to where we might be, from where we want to be or to where we want to be. So what does that mean? Let, let's put this in simple terms. Okay, so that could be writing your book. It could be um, figuring out how to overcome anxiety. It could be managing your finances. It could be making sure that all your payments are automated so as you can focus more on what you need to do to improve your current situation. Whatever it might be, if you're procrastinating, you're essentially flushing your life away and you're also not getting any closer to where you want to be. So that's, that's my definition of procrastination. So why do people procrastinate? Well, the simple answer is because they've trained their minds to do it. And television and, and society has actually made it very, very easy to procrastinate. Procrastination is where we know what we want to do, but we just don't do it because it may seem too difficult. It may be too overwhelming. Maybe we've had a long day and we just want to sit and vegetate in front of the TV and just watch, you know, all sorts of mindless garbage, whether it be on TikTok, whether it be on YouTube or whatever. It's stuff that it, it might be fun, it might be entertaining, it might make us feel good, but it doesn't actually get us to where we are. The brain, as we're gonna talk about in a couple of weeks, is wired in one of two ways. It's not wired logically, it's wired by association. And it responds most to avoiding pain or trying to gain pleasure. So when you're avoiding pain, for example, it could be the pain of doing the task, managing your finances, whatever it might be. When you're getting pleasure, it could be sitting in front of the TV, eating your dinner, and you're just gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hog out for the entire night. Do you see what I'm saying here? That's one of the reasons that we do it, because it's comfortable, because it's nice, it's relaxing. The problem is, it develops a mindset in you where you just settle for doing maybe less than your best. You settle for doing less than all that you could be. And the problem with that is, that mindset then starts to erode all of your other disciplines. So you say, well, maybe I just skip the gym this, this one week, and then you find that you don't go the next week, and you don't go the next week, and then your body starts to change, so your confidence level then starts to go down. And then you sit there in front of the TV more because your confidence is now gone, you're looking for something to make you feel better, TV usually does that, um, and then you're gonna sit out with, you know, a, a big bag of potato chips or crisps, or, uh, you know, a big pizza or whatever it might be. 
Watching TV, folks, isn't bad, okay? That's the first thing I want to say. It isn't bad, but if you are watching it 15, 16 hours a day, as opposed to something just to relax and unwind and just chill out with in the evening, then that is an issue, and that's something that you need to address. Because if you're serious about getting from where you are to where you want to be, sitting watching TV probably, unless it's educational stuff, probably isn't going to be the thing that you need to do. Okay, folks, so now we know what procrastination is. We now know why people procrastinate. I want to do a little exercise with you now, if I may, to help you learn how to change procrastination. And this is where this falls into the category of mindset training. This is something we do on my personal development coaching programs and all that kind of stuff, both with groups and on one-on-one -on -one sessions. So I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen. When you've done that, press play, and I'll obviously be right here waiting for you. Okay, so I'm assuming now that you did that and you didn't just continue watching. If, if you did, stop the video and, and you know, grab your pen and paper. Okay, so now you've got your pen and paper. What I want you to do is this. I want you to divide your page up into maybe two columns, okay? And the first one I want you to put a heading on is time wasted or procrastination, okay? Um, it basically surmises to the same thing. Procrastination, time wasted, it's basically the same thing, okay? And then I want you to put on the other side of the page a currency sign. Now that if you're in the United Kingdom, that'd be pounds. If you're in the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, that'd be dollars. If you're watching further field, basically just put your own currency, okay? So in column one, I want you to work out and get really, really clear. Now, you might not like doing this, but it's important for your personal development and growth to do this. I want you to put down the hours per week that you waste. Now, that could be on TV, it could be on social media, it could be YouTube, TikTok, all of that kind of stuff. If it isn't helping you get from where you are to where you want to be, then basically put it down, okay? Now, I'm not talking, you know, a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there. You know, that's, you know, that's one thing. You've got to relax. You've got to have that time just to, to slow down a little bit. But it's important that you know how many hours that you're spending doing this, okay? So now you should have a rough figure. And, it, and a lot of people, it might be, you know, a couple of hours a day. I think one lady actually that I spoke to spent about 25 hours per week and it was wasted time, okay? On social media, on just watching TV, okay? So we're gonna go with the figure of 25. In the other column, I want you to put down what you get paid per hour, okay? So if you're here in the UK and you're working with me, you know, I'm gonna charge you probably about 50 to 60 uh, pounds an hour for coaching and it could be in the it could be upwards of you know two or three hundred pounds in the art world, okay? So put that figure down, okay, for yourself, of course. And once you've done that, that's gonna give you an indication then on how much money essentially you are wasting by not following through on what you need to get done. So if I'm sitting there and I spend two hours not doing what I know I need to get done, not messaging the client, not speaking to the person, not building on my self-development or, or my own studies and my own education, I know then that I have just basically wasted 200 pounds. Okay, which is the equivalent of about $250, $300 United States, okay? A lot of money to flush down the toilet. When you start doing that and then you realize over the course of a year how much money you actually flush down the toilet by not getting done what you need to get done, then all of a sudden that starts to equate and you start to say, oh my goodness, I'm actually wasting a lot of money here. This is why it is really important not to procrastinate. If you've got the studies to do, get them done. If you've got a phone call to make, get it done. If you've got, you know, training, studying, uh, people to speak to, you know, areas of business or whatever it might be that you need to get done, get it done. Because if you don't, it'll still be there. The jobs will still need to be done. And you've got 10 other jobs as well that need to be done. You've only so much time. And it's really important that you don't procrastinate. So I hope that helps you today get from where you are to where you want to be and do start to develop a mindset that is of productivity as opposed to comfort. Because when you get comfortable, things die. I mean, they really do. When the butt hits the seat, you know, you start getting sleepy, you start getting Ah, oh, restful, and you just want to chill. Whereas when you're productive, 
and you're building through, you can get to the end of your day and say, my goodness, that was incredible. But it all begins with your mindset. And if you need more you know, ideas, I believe in, in next week's episode, we're gonna be talking about the, the very thing that was talked about earlier on, you know, the difference in the mindset of associations where we're talking about avoiding pain and trying to gain pleasure. Um, and that's gonna be really, really important. And that's obviously you know, a big part of this whole thing with procrastination. So I hope that helps you today. I know there's a lot there to pack in, but I, I really, really hope that helps you today and uh, it helps you get from where you are to where you want to be. If you're interested in life coaching, whether it be one-on-one -on -one or obviously in group coaching, you can get in touch with us at thebattleswealthface.com or on patreon.com forward slash mind, body and soul. Um, and there's different groups, different options there, and monthly memberships, and we can help you. You know, again, a lot of these things can be changed very, very simply. It takes a little bit of support, a little bit of guidance, but once you get there, you'd be like, wow. And this is open for all, whether you're a creative mind, whether or not you are mother, father, teenager, whatever it might be. That's why I'm the personal development coach for all ages, because I just couldn't sit in one, one niche. So folks, I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that helps them in their time of struggle. Come and visit us at thebattleswealthface.com. Check out my brand new book, The Battles We All Face, that's available on Amazon now. You can get that and uh, in a number of different formats. And I want to thank you for watching. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you same time next week for Going Deeper. Take care. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety, maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues, maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Like a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as a trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh. you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon